In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can motion track text and objects just like Mr. Beast. And more importantly, how you can use this exact technique in your vertical content to make your intros and subtitles way more dynamic. All right, let's get to it. For this video, I'm gonna be tracking dynamic subtitles, but for this, you can track absolutely anything you want. I'm gonna show you guys how you can motion track text and So to get started, the first thing you wanna do is right click, click new, and go down to null object, and we're gonna add in that null layer. Next, we're gonna be heading over to the tracker panel, and if you don't see the tracker panel, all you have to do is go up to window, and scroll down until you see tracker. We're gonna click that. Now we're just gonna simply click on our video, and then head over to track motion. Next, we're gonna be assigning the motion target, and I always forget to do this, so this is a very very important step. All you gotta do is click on edit target. You wanna make sure that you have your no layer assigned to it. Next, click okay. Now in the middle, you'll see this track point. And all we wanna do is we want to put this where we want to track. And for this case, I'm going to be tracking my head. The inner box tells After Effects what to track, like the exact spot on the object. And the outer box tells it where to look for the motion, kind of like a search area. If you make the boxes too small, the tracker will run faster, but it might slip and lose accuracy. And if you make them bigger, the tracker it takes longer, but it is way more stable. You kind of just want to find that sweet spot. So for the inner, I'm going to be going like this. And then for the outer, I'm going to go like eh, just about like that much. Once you have it all set up, you just want to head over here and click on the analyze button right here. And then this will just go frame by frame and analyzing the tracking points. Now, if you click the analyze and you're watching it kind of analyze through your clip and you realize that the tracking point starts to jump off your subject. All you want to do is click U to open up the tracking data. And right here, as you can see, it kind of jumped off where we want to track. Usually what I do is from this keyframe, I just highlight these and then I delete them. We just want to make sure that it is on the actual tracking point that we want. And if you want this to be precise, you can go frame by frame and just making sure that it is tracked correctly. Or if you want to do it the speedy way, you can always just let it analyze like this. And then as soon as you see it jump off again, you just got to want to pause, go back a few frames, delete them, and then keep just tracking it forward. Now, once you're done analyzing and you see that the tracking point is just glued down to where you want to track like this, all you have to do is click on apply and then it'll bring up this window and all you have to do is click OK. The tracking data is now on this null object, meaning now anything we attach to this null object will be tracked to our head. Now I'm gonna be doing subtitles, but this is where you can add in a PNG, picture, arrow, anything that you want to attach to your object. So for subtitles, obviously we're gonna type in text and then we're gonna put our text in. Now in After Effects fashion, this is where we're just gonna be adding in our subtitles one by one. Click on my first subtitle and then on our last subtitle, we're just gonna hold shift and then click on your last subtitle. Here we want to position the first one right where we want to be tracked. So right above my head. Now, while they are all highlighted, we wanna grab the pick whip tool and then attach this to the null layer. Now, if we play this back, you'll see that we have tracked our subtitles to the moving object. Now, if you wanna track a arrow or a PNG, all you have to do is put in your PNG and then just grab this little pick whip tool and then pick whip it to the null layer. Now, wherever we want to locate this, we just put it on the first frame like this. And now if we play this back, you'll see that any sort of object, PNG or subtitles will be tracked to the null layer. Now all you have to do is just add in your favorite text effects and your favorite text animations. And just like that, you've added a dynamic new way to make your videos instantly more engaging. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, just make sure you guys drop a like and comment down below. And I think on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ooh.